Hi, and welcome to Out of Focus. I'm your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Staying true to our tradition, we have a special presentation for you this week as we bring you the highlights of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards and Media's Choice Awards held at the Palms Country Club in Alabang, Montenlupa City. When we first held this poll-based program 14 years ago, we undoubtedly had the car buyers, owners, and the general motoring public in mind with a simple goal to give them a platform wherein they could voice out their opinions on cars through voting and vouching for their favorite trusted automobiles. A decade and more later, we still have the very same thing in mind. Only this time it has been made more thrilling. Through the years, we have used the support of the local auto industry as well as the general motoring public as our foundation in keeping the autofocus people's choice going and staying true to its advocacy. We have just capped off another year of putting our focus on the, what the public has to say. This week, we're here to deliver the results of the momentous Autofocus People's Choice Awards. On top of that, we also have the results of the Media's Choice Awards for 2019, courtesy of the most respected and seasoned Philippine motoring journalists whose opinions and insights we have depended on over the years. So there's not really much for you to do now but to get into your favorite chair or prop yourself up in bed as for the next hour, we shall have for you the special episode of Autofocus and we shall commence right after this break. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. We're back here in our very special presentation of the 2019 Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards held at the Palms Country Club in Alaba. For 14 long years, this event has managed to determine the country's most popular car brands and models by providing a venue for the general motoring public to cast their votes. But aside from that, the awarding for this much-awaited annual event has also served as a perfect time and place for the stakeholders and pillars of the local motoring industry to come together and celebrate. The local auto industry continuously grows by leaps and bounds, and so does the Autofocus People's Choice Awards. It has followed and supported the local auto industry for so many years and with the help of the car brands as well as thousands of car enthusiasts, the longest-running award-giving body has played a huge role in spotlighting the innovations and developments in the auto industry. For this year, data covered only completely built and new imported units that were put in for new registration with the LTO from January to September 2019. The official entry list saw over 180 models for the standard and luxury categories combined. STB Chairman Ray Butch Gamboa, together with the team, has stood by the program for as long as it has been going on. Let's hear all about it from the motoring legend himself. I just want to remind the winners that you owe it to the people who voted for you. 
we also have Mr. Jerry Aquino, Chairman of the Awards Committee, to give his welcome remarks. I've been uh, Chairman of the Awards Committees uh, now coming into my 15th year, and I have nothing to do with your industry. And uh, Butch wanted it that way. Of course, none of this will be possible and as successful without the hard work and cooperation of one of our valued partners, Stradcom Corporation. Now that we've heard little bits and pieces about the Autofocus People's Choice Awards and Media's Choice Awards, especially from the main man behind the program, there's not much to do but to find out the winners of this year's Autofocus Media's Choice. All of that and more right after this short break. Welcome back to our very special presentation on the 2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. As promised, we have the winners for you. But before we take on the 15 People's Choice Awards, we have the results for the 12 Media's Choice Awards. The guidelines have been strict this time for the Media's Choice Awards, and we owe it to the expertise of the local motoring journalists that the winners for this year's awards were carefully and wisely picked. And now, as in previous years, we have four awards categories. Best Design, Best Engine Performance, Best Safety Features, and Best Value for Money. The first category is Best Design for Standard and Luxury Models. This is awarded to the vehicle that has the most attractive and stylish exterior as well as interior. Up on the stage to hand the trophies to the winners is Mr. Ron De Los Reyes from the automotive show Auto Review. Let's start with the Best Design Awardees in Standard category. For Mini Sedan, the award goes to Honda Brio. For Mid Size Sedan, the winner is Mazda 6. Taking the Best Design Award for the Pickup Truck segment is Ford Ranger Raptor. For MPVs, it's the Mitsubishi Expander. For Vans, the winner is none other than the Toyota Hiace. And finally, for subcompact crossover, the award goes to Suzuki Jimny. Congratulations to the winners in the best design category for the standard models. Moving on to the best design and luxury models, here's DJ Susie to announce the winners. Let's start off with the luxury subcompacts. It's the Mercedes Benz A Class. For luxury mid-size, it's the BMW 5 Series. For luxury large SUV, best design goes to the Lamborghini Urus. For luxury MPV, we have the Peugeot Traveler. And finally, for luxury vans, we have the Toyota Alphard.
That wraps up the winners of the Best Design category in Standard and Luxury Models for the Media's Choice Awards. Up next, we bring you the awardees for the Best Engine Performance category, wherein the vehicles are judged on their best power output, engine response, and fuel consumption. We have on the stage Mr. Robbie Gonsuni from Top Gear and Mr. Egai Quesada from Autocar to assist with the awards. Here are the winners in the Standard category. For Mini Sedan, once again, it's the Honda Brio. For Subcompact Sedan, the award goes to Subaru Levorg. Taking the award in the mid-size sedan segment is Mazda 6. For sports car, it's Nissan GTR. Up on the stage for large SUVs is Toyota Land Cruiser 200. Now for pickup, the winner is Ford Ranger Raptor. Lastly, for fans, the award goes to none other than Toyota Hiace. That wraps up the winners in the standard category for the Best Engine Performance Awards. Let's now move on to the Luxury Category Awardees, still presented by DJ Suzy. Now for Subcompact Sedans in the Luxury Category, we have the... The Mini 3-Door and 5-Door. For mid-sized sedans, we have... The Lexus GSF. Now in the luxury large sedan class, congratulations to... The Porsche Panamera. Now for luxury sports cars... Congratulations to the Lamborghini Huracan. For luxury compact SUVs, it's the Porsche Macan. In the luxury mid-size SUV class, it's the Porsche Cayenne. For luxury large SUVs, it's the Lamborghini Urus. Now for luxury MPVs, it's the Peugeot Traveler. And now in the luxury van class, it's the Toyota Alphard. There we have it, the winners for the Best Design and Best Engine Performance Awards in the Standard and Luxury categories. When we come back, we have the winners for the remaining two categories in the 2019 Autofocus Media's Choice Awards. Stay with us. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Mitsubishi Expander. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. 
Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. You're still here with us on the special presentation of the 2019 Auto Focus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards. This time we have the winners for the Media's Choice Best Safety Features and Best Value for Money in Standard and Luxury Categories. Let's start off with the Best Safety Features Awards, which go to cars with the most number of safety features as well as the most sophisticated active and passive safety features. Handing the trophies to the winners are Mr. Anjo Perez of Wheels PH and Mr. Vernon Sarne of Visor. Here are the winners for the standard category. For Compact SUV, the Best Safety Feature Awards goes to Honda CRV. Taking the trophy for midsize SUV is Nissan Terra. For pickup truck, it's the Ford Ranger Raptor. For MPV, the Kia Grand Carnival receives the award. Last but not the least, for subcompact crossover, the winner is none other than the Subaru XV. Big congratulations to all the winners for the Best Safety Features Awards in Standard Category. Moving forward, here are the winners for the Luxury Category. Starting off with the luxury subcompact sedans. The winner is the Mercedes Benz A Class. For luxury compact sedans, it's the Mercedes Benz C Class. category of luxury mid-size sedans, the awardee is the BMW 5 Series. For luxury large sedans, the winner is the Volvo S90. In the luxury mid-size SUV class, Congratulations to the Volvo XC60. For luxury large SUV, a big hand too. The Volvo XC90. For luxury MPVs, the award goes to BMW 2 Series Grand Tourer. For the luxury van category, please give it up for the Honda Odyssey. Down to the last category, the Autofocus Media's Choice, the Best Value for Money Awards, which is awarded to vehicles that deliver the best dynamic performance at the lowest retail price. We have Miss Belle Alba of Gadgets Magazine and Mr. Arnel Doria of DZRJ up on the stage to assist with the awards. Starting off with the standard category, taking home the award for the mini sedan segment is the Honda Brio. For a subcompact sedan, the winner is Suzuki Siaz. Next for compact sedan, it's the MG6. Taking the trophy for midsize sedan is Volkswagen Lamando. Taking the center stage to receive the award for subcompact SUV is Suzuki Vitara. For midsize SUV, it's none other than the Isuzu Mu X. For pickup, the Isuzu D Max takes home the award. Next, for MPV, the winner is Suzuki Ertiga. 
finally for Van, the award goes to Toyota High Ace. It's now time for the Best Value for Money awardees in Luxury category, presented by DJ Suzy. Starting off with the Luxury Subcompact Sedans. We have the Mercedes-Benz A-Class. For Luxury Compact Sedans, the winner is... The Lexus IS350. For Luxury Compact Mid-Size Sedans, we have... Lexus ES350 Now for luxury compact SUVs Congratulations to the Lexus NX300 For luxury mid-sized SUVs It is the Lexus RX350 For luxury MPVs, a big hand for the Peugeot Traveler. Now for luxury vans, we have the Toyota Alphard. That wraps up the awards for the 2019 Media's Choice. Let's hear it from the winners. First of all, we would like to thank the Autofocus for giving five awards for Honda Cars Philippines. And this is just a manifestation, in fact, of our offering of a good product and good services to our customer. This is actually attributed to all the customers who have been purchasing and has been trusting our Honda vehicle. And we thank them especially also the media who did a review of our product and this is just a confirmation that we are really offering a good quality products and services to our customer. First, we really appreciate receiving these awards. We think these awards means the, our customers and the media understanding our good product and good quality. We really appreciate these kind of hours. It contributes our good brand. And then we think our brand image for our Philippine market customer is really good. We are enhancing our branding by utilizing these kind of hours. It has been a great journey for Suzuki Philippines, especially for this year. And the awards that we have received tonight are actually a good result of our hard work, our perseverance to be actually in the game in this automotive industry. These awards help us drive us to do better, to be more creative in terms of our marketing efforts, to reach out to more Filipinos so that they can experience the Suzuki way of life. It's a great honor for us at uh, BMW because, of course, we want our consumers to be aware of all the benefits that our vehicles bring, uh, the features that they have. So it's, it's great that the people from the media and the consumers are more informed through, through an event like this and knowing the different segments also is very important for our consumers so that they can make better choices. An award night like this helps us understand basically what our consumers are looking for, what they're really focusing on. So we get to see from also our competitors and you know, from other cars that we're in different categories what the consumer is looking at. Is it safety? Is it engine performance? Is it design? And that helps us hopefully decide how to spec out our vehicles when it comes to our future models or maybe, who knows, next year when we have uh, different models too. We take a lot of those things into account. We are very delighted uh, to receive awards for our Lamborghini cars like the Urus and the Huracan. And we would like to uh, thank the uh, media who voted for us. These awards actually would motivate us to deliver more exciting 
extraordinary cars for Philippine market. These awards, well, they they typically um, for us they attest to the type of work that we've poured into these unique vehicles that we are selling today. These awards help us to communicate to our buyers the value and the design and the performance of our vehicles, which are really top class. On behalf of Lexus Philippines, we feel very, very happy. We feel honored for accepting the Media Choice Awards for our Lexus vehicles. We also would like to thank Mr. Ray Butch Gamboa for always hosting this event yearly. We had to read to our consumers, our customers, of course, for purchasing our Lexus vehicles. And of course, our media partners for choosing the awards for Lexus, for winning the Media Choice Awards for the several Lexus vehicles in our range. We are uh, very grateful representing Porsche Philippines. And once again, Porsche has set the high standard for the luxury car and it is being manifested by these awards. It is very helpful and we are very grateful for the organizers, especially the media, for appreciating our product lines and of course the founder, Mr. Butch Gamboa. We always have uh, in Kia the uh, riding public in mind and when uh, features are designed, it's always the safety, which is what we were uh, recognized for tonight. Safety and the uh, comfort of the riding public. Being called up on stage, in particular for one of our favorite models, the Carnival, is a uh, recognition for the uh, Kia brand. Now we're trying to move that awareness globally into the local scene here in the Philippines. I'd like to thank uh, Butch for organizing this all these years and of course the whole team for being active participants the media and the voting public who participated kia under ayala stewardship now is committed to bringing in the best products for the various categories and segments that we play in and of course making sure that it's not just the products themselves but the overall experience of owning the vehicles from the time you purchase one, to the time you enjoy riding it, to the time you maintain it, we are here to support the Kia customers. We're very happy to receive this award for the MG6 uh, Best Value for Money sedan because it truly is a good value for money car and it's class, it's very, very good and well, overall, we feel very honored to receive this award. I mean, from a prestigious body like Autofocus, this is a very, very good thing for us. We've only been here for one year, so this is just a reaffirmment of the things that we're doing. And again, we thank you very much to the, the committee and to Sir Butch and the rest of the STV family for this award. This is a team effort. The whole team pulled the stops to get this award. The whole team from sales to marketing to the office of the president, we're all on board for the MG brand here in the Philippines. And this award is for everyone, for the entire team, for sure. Because the award comes from such a prestigious group like STV, we take this very, very seriously. And we think that the award coming from you guys is a great honor and I know that the public is going to look at our vehicle more especially because of this honor. Our Volkswagen Lamando was voted best, uh, best value for money in the mid-size uh, sedan segment and I think that's a terrific validation for where we want our Volkswagen products to be which is to be able to bring the unique German quality and German technology that we have in Volkswagen cars to more and more Filipinos. And I think the fact that we were voted uh, best value for money sends a message to Filipinos that they should really come and take a look at Volkswagen cars because these are cars that could definitely be for them and certainly worth their hard-earned pesos. For us at Volkswagen, it's something that we'll take great pride in that we receive this award. And it also helps because obviously it's an independent process and it's validation and confirmation that the products we have are indeed very high quality. As we've been saying, they possess the German technology and German DNA. And the award confirms that indeed they should be more accessible to more Filipinos now. Choosing your top picks among hundreds of the latest quality vehicles available in the market today may look easy, a no-brainer even, but it also has its own challenging parts. For the motoring media, this is a task that they have been taking on for so many years now.
That's a wrap for the 2019 Autofocus Media's Choice Awards. Cast by the country's most trusted and seasoned motoring journalists. Congratulations are in order to all the winners. The awarding doesn't end there. We still have for you the winners for the 15 People's Choice Awards. We shall continue with our special presentation here on Autofocus when we return right after this break. fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Welcome back, our loyal viewers. Let's continue our very special presentation on the 2019 Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards. Before our break, we announced the winners of the Media's Choice Awards. That only means one thing. Up next, we have the winners of the much-anticipated People's Choice Awards. Autofocus People's Choice featured a unique scoring system that attributes 80% value to public votes from the July 1 to September 30 online poll and 20% to unit sales. Official sales volume data for the program was furnished by Stratcom Corporation with the official sanction of the Land Transportation Office. Here are the winners for both standard and luxury models. For the standard sedan of the year, the award goes to none other than the Toyota Wego! This is a back-to-back -back win for the Toyota Wego, as it also bagged the same award in 2018. Up on stage, to receive the award is Ms. Nadine Capistrano, Toyota Motor Philippines. Next, for the luxury sedan of the year, it's none other than... Mercedes-Benz E-Class! Mr. Mark Tare of AutoNation Group took on the stage to receive this award. For the standard sports car of the year, the award goes to... The Nissan GTR. Receiving the award is Mr. Dino Obias of Nissan Philippines. Next award is the Luxury Sports Car of the Year. The winner is the Dodge Challenger SRT. Here's Miss Bernice Sauco of AutoNation Group receiving the award. For the standard SUV crossover of the year, the award goes to the Toyota Rush. Mr. Jing Atienza of Toyota Motor Philippines took on the stage to receive the award. For the luxury SUV crossover of the year, the winner is... The Mercedes-Benz G-Class! Mr. Mark Tare was back on stage to receive this award. For the standard van, MPV of the year... The Mitsubishi Expander! We have Mr. Alvin Dalida of Mitsubishi Motor Philippines on the stage to receive the award. For the luxury van MPV of the year, it's none other than the Toyota Alphard! We have Mr. Jing Atienza back on stage to receive the award. For the standard pickup truck of the year award, the winner is the Nissan Navara! Mr. Dino Obias was back on the stage to receive the award. 
And there you have it, the complete set of winners for the 2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, including the Models of the Year. A big congratulations on this year's winners! It's a testament on how uh, our cars are best in its class and how it performs well in the market and how it's capable, how it is safe, how it's value for money. It really motivates us because uh, awards from STV, especially coming from one of the pillars of the automotive industry, Daddy Butch, um, Sir Bush, it motivates us to do more. We're very excited to continue what we're doing and to sustain everything that we've accomplished tonight. And we're very privileged that we've been awarded this prestigious award. Of course, it's an honor that we've been awarded these awards for performance for the GTR and for our SUVs in Navarra and the Terra, which only shows that Nissan really innovates in excitement in terms of our performance cars and our LCVs. These awards help us as a brand because it establishes what we always believe in our brand, that we are doing something right in terms of uh, what we do in our products. We'd like to thank uh, all those who voted for the Navara. It's very heartwarming for the company, for Nissan Philippines, that you have trusted us as a brand and trusted Navara as a pickup of your choice. The awarding festivities don't end here. We still have two more major awards to be given to the two winners of the Automobile of the Year for both the standard and premium luxury categories. The 2019-2020 Automobile of the Year in the standard category goes to none other than the Mitsubishi Expander. The Mitsubishi Expander is also recognized as the Van MPV of the Year. This is the model's first Automobile of the Year award in its young rising career on Philippine roads. Upon the stage to receive this award are the Mitsubishi team led by Mr. Alvin Dalida, Mr. Mark Parulan, Ms. Yuko Sahara, and Ms. CJ Yukoko. A big congratulations to Mitsubishi Motors Philippines! And now for the Automobile of the Year in the Premium Luxury category. The award goes to none other than the Toyota Alphard. This is the first time for the Alphard to earn the Luxury Automobile of the Year award. We have here the Toyota Motor Philippines team led by Mr. Jing Atienza, Ms. Nadine Capistrano to receive the award. Way to go, Toyota Motor Philippines! The motoring public has chosen their Automobiles of the Year for 2019. Let's hear it from this year's awardees. We would like to say thank you, of course, for um, always uh, choosing Toyota and for recognizing the quality, durability, and reliability. I think for more than 30 years, so that's three decades, uh, people have been continuously supporting and choosing Toyota given that it's already a trusted brand, it's a well-known brand. We really like to showcase right now Toyota not just as an automotive company but also a mobility company. A big congratulations to STV and to Sir Butch for staging such a prestigious awards night year after year for 15 years already. Of course, uh, Toyota looks forward to more events such as this and uh, of course the test drives and other partnerships activities with STV. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines is very flattered that the people have voted for one of our top products, the Expander. We are very, very thankful for the support and patronage towards the brand and our products. It remains to be strong. It's actually one of our champion products. We see it more of improving as the months go by, as we close the year. It's a perfect product for any lifestyle and life stage. So we hope to keep the momentum going strong. The awards is very valuable to us, especially that it's the motoring journalists and the public who are voting. So their voice is very valuable to the brand. For 15 years now, the Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards have never failed to deliver fair and thrilling results to everyone involved in the program, including the general motoring public. In an industry that is ever-growing, our goal is to continuously grow with the car brands and manufacturers and bringing the most credible program for the motoring industry. Voters, most of all, have to be congratulated for participating in the AFPCA, which is a poll-based exercise. Wala kang voters then, you know, what is the AFPCA for without them? And it's testimony to the popularity of the models that won. And apart from that, it is a reflection of the individual preferences of motorists today 
and a reflection as well of trends that have marked the industry and especially now that you know a number of new players have entered the market. This year we had a banner field of about 180 models or so in the official entry list. Now that did not include the more recent players that have entered the market particularly in the back half of the year beginning from July. So those will come in and uh, several of them have full lineups of models so I think that that entry list will balloon to over I think 200 entries next year so more models to come. To Butch and the STV team I know that you know from year 14 going into 15 that period in between was uh, I don't need to explain uh, very challenging uh, for you Butch and uh, for your people and uh, nonetheless you faced up to the challenges and you pulled this off once more a successful 15th edition of the Out of Focus People's Choice Awards and also the media's choice portion of that and uh, I really wish you all at STV more success, uh, not only in, in the merit programs that you are doing for the industry, you also have the test drive programs that you do twice a year, more power to you there, and uh, as well as carrying on with your usual programs, Motoring Today, Out to Focus. taking another short break and when we come back we have the final stretch of this very special presentation spotlighting this year's winners of the autofocus people's choice and media's choice awards still here on autofocus ah the things that make my day my mini me my kind of jam My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. You are still watching Autofocus, the country's premier TV and online automobile magazine. And back to our special presentation this week, featuring the highlights and sidelights of the 2019 People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards. It's our pleasure to bring you the highlights and happenings during the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards. We hope you enjoyed our special presentation. We would like to congratulate all the winners and all the participants of this annual poll on the most popular automobiles in the country for this year. To our steadfast partners in this endeavor, with our utmost gratitude, know that everything wouldn't have been possible and as successful if it weren't for your unending support. Thank you very much to Stradcom Corporation and the Land Transportation Office. 
We would also like to thank all the Philippine motoring journalists for their participation in the 2019-2020 Media's Choice Awards. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you have enjoyed this special episode as much as we did. This has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa, for all the folks.